Uh, the first order of business is the approval of the agenda. A motion would be in order to approve the agenda. I'll make the motion. Motion by Mike. Second. Oh, I'll, I'll second, second it. Second by Lynette. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. <laughs> motion passes. General public comments. Are there any members of the public that wish to speak on agenda not on, uh, I'm sorry, an item not on the agenda this evening? Okay, hearing none, we will move on to the minutes, the minutes of March 24th, 2020. One, a motion would be in order to approve the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve. I didn't see anything in there. Okay. I, I saw one little typo at the beginning that okay. um, Mike, Mike Moser was listed with Rutland Town, and I think he's with West Rutland. Uh, Quarry Valley, yeah. Or Quarry Valley. Okay. Okay, so with that change, moving Mike to Cory Valley from Rutland Town, is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Eric. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Motion passes. Approval of warrants. You receive your warrants in uh, through your email. Any questions should be directed to Lewis. A motion will be in order to approve the warrants. I'll move to approve warrants 177 and 179. Motion by Eric. Second. I second. Second by Tina. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Superintendent's report. Uh, thanks, Lisa. So I'm going to go through uh, pretty quickly on this just because we have a lot to go through in executive session tonight. Uh, most of the report is just a repeat of what we've uh, discussed at our local board levels. Uh, the one item I would like to just uh, discuss publicly is just the, uh, our end uh, date for our school year uh, that we will stay with the uh, date of June 15th for these students, which is on the calendar, and June 18th for the staff. Uh, so are there any questions about the superintendent's report? That was rather short, but we do have a long session tonight. All right, hearing none, thank you. We'll move on to the assistant superintendent's report. Good evening, everyone. Um, as with Chris, I will uh, try not to take too much airtime because I know there's a packed agenda tonight. Um, you all have my written report. Um, in addition, just two updates for you. Um, one, I wanted to let everyone know that all of our final um, consolidated federal program grant amendments have been approved, um, as well as our Title I parent and family engagement plan has been approved. So those were the only two updates since you received my written report. But happy to take any questions. I actually had a question about um, that uh, title, family, parent engagement. Um, yeah. Is that uh, like a survey or something like that? Um, is that something that uh, you reach out to parents? Like, I, I never heard of that before. Yeah, so um, what really what it is, it comes from the Title I grant. Um, and there are certain requirements and assurances that we sign for when we accept Title I funding around parent and family engagement. And there are specific activities that they would like to see us do um, in order to receive Title I funds. Um, most of it really centers around two main pieces for families. One is the homeschool compact, which usually gets distributed through our student family handbooks. 
Um, and the other is the annual Title I meeting, uh, which is a place for families to give feedback on parent and family engagement and academics and um, any part of the compact or, or family involvement policy that they want to give feedback on. Um, we have we could do a better job, I think, in some of those areas. So I think you will see more and more coming um, in the coming school year. We already have plans um, for some specific ways to emphasize it a little bit more with families and try and get it to be more interactive than it's been in the past. Um, this is something that we were monitored on for the, the first time this year. Uh, nobody remembers uh, us ever being monitored on it before. So I think it's something that the feds have put a little pressure on the Vermont Agency of Education, and now they're putting a little more pressure on us um, to actually uh, reach that level of engagement and documentation in this area. Um, so it's, it's a relatively, it's not a new, none of the pieces in it are new, but it's newly emphasized. I would say from the agency. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. All right, are there any other questions, uh, Tina? Um, I, I know I made a note of it on the, um, during our actual school board meeting locally, but on the Title I document policy, it does say sample at the top of one of the pages. And I know that that, um, I know that it was meant to be removed because it's not a sample, it's what we're going to follow, but I think it would just be more clear to everyone else reading it if it was removed, because it makes it sound like we might be doing this, but we might not, you know? <laughs> so I yep, just want to mention that um, change would be really helpful. Great, thank you. Yeah, Tina, we'll, we'll make that change. That was noted. Uh, we are going to be presented to the Rutland Town Board as well, as per your request, okay? Thanks. Thank you. This, this is just the same document that all the uh, boards have looked at. So we just out of consistency, make sure they looked at the same document. Okay, thank you. All right, are there any other questions? Hearing none, we will move on to resignations and non-renewals. In your packet, you received a list with three resignations and two non-renewals, which are the final notice, those were in your packet at the prior meeting. The resignations are Amanda Doran, Wendy Bixby, and Rebecca Smith-McKee. Are there any questions on the resignations or the non-renewals? Lisa, there should have been one more. Uh, he Heath at, Haskell. Well, Heath is on a different page. So okay. are we doing him tonight also? Uh, yes. Okay. Is, yeah. So Heath is at was actually on the approval page, but it says in parentheses, I think something about he's resigned. Yes, he has resigned. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So could we? There, I think there was an updated. Uh, sorry, Lisa. There was an updated um, one that I think Heath yes. was on as well for the resignations. Yeah. I'm just. Trying, let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, so Christine sent it, sorry, uh, yesterday, uh, along with a calendar okay. and an email. I'm that. just in my regular pocket here, so I, I didn't, I'm not pulling each one. So no uh, adding Heath to the resignations, that would make four resignations and two non-renewals. A motion would be in order to approve the resignations and the non-renewals. I'll make the motion. Motion by Lynette, second. I'll second. second. Second by Eric, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. All right, any opposed? I abstain. <clears throat> One abstention. Mike, you're abstaining? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Contract recommendation. So there was an updated list that came out today for that. So we'll start. Um, the top is professional staff. Um, Alex Kennedy, Patricia Ryan. Um, Heath is now off this list. Um, Sloan Weinberg and Jamie Ross. Are there any questions about those? Lisa, Heath was actually just, there were some days that he worked 
Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to just approve that rate for those days that he works. I think that's why his name was on okay. that list. Okay. So including Heath in that first section then. <clears throat> All right. Hearing no questions, we'll move on to the next grouping, which is um, Weinberg, Ross, Boyle, Selinsky. Are there any questions about them? So I just want to be clear, it was my understanding at the last meeting that Weinberg was going to be grant funded, but it doesn't say grant funded on this sheet. <clears throat> that is correct. She will be grant funded. Is there anybody else in this grouping that's grant funded? No, not that I know of. She would be okay. the only one. All right. So I think it would be helpful going forward if they're grant funded that we definitely have that on the sheet. I, I'll let Lewis and Debbie know. Yep. Okay. Uh, the next is FY21 expiring contract recommended for FY22 renewal. Rachel Greenier. Any question about that? Support staff. Sierra, Barbara, Christine, Courtney, <clears throat> Arlen, and Molly McGee. Any questions about those? I'm assuming this grouping is, with the exception of Christine, is from grant funding also? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Lisa, what document are you on? That wouldn't be that wouldn't be Lisa for Courtney there. That's a para Correct. under special Correct. ed. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks for seeing. What? Say it again. So Sierra for the Courtney Courtney Courier mm -hmm. in that one. She would be a special ed funded, not grant funded. Okay. Yeah, so Sierra, Barbara, Arlen, and Molly would be the four grant funded positions in that group. Okay, and Christine and Courtney are regular are general fund then. Okay. Any questions on those? All right, so a motion would be in order to approve professional staff, expiring contract, and support staff. I'll make the so motion. moved. Okay. <laughs> We're all seconded after Seth. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Does the board wish to um, look at consideration for central office, or is that something you want to discuss in executive session? Sorry, Lisa, for me, you cut out in the middle of that question. Can you just is, is, does the board Is the board ready to approve the contracts for central office? Or is this a discussion you wish to have in executive session? I don't have any problem with what the list is. OK. Me neither. All right. So a motion would be in order to approve central office contract recommendations. So Lisa, just to clarify, this is their current contract. Right. I understand so, that. Okay. Just I just want to make sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Motion would be in order. Motion to approve. Yes. Second. I'll second it. Second by Lynette. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I abstain. Okay. All 
Um, in your pack, there was also a list of open positions. Those might have changed between now or between the time they came out and now. I'm not sure. I know there's a lot of interviewing and hiring going on, but that is a general idea of positions that we have open. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, can you yeah. name the document, please? Can you name the, the docu document? Yes. Um, there's a open position document in the packet. It has the um, GRCSU at the top, and it lists like all the positions, internal vacancies and vacancies. Number, uh, it's listed as 5C. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to finance. Lewis? Lewis is on his way back from a baseball game. He'll be joining us shortly. He just texted me. So he'll be here in like okay. five, ten minutes. All right. So we'll move on to the policies. There were four policies. This is a second read. All policies have made it to each um, <clears throat> local board. The first is H5, Title I, Part A, Parental Involvement Policy. The second is D5, Alcohol and a Drug-Free Workplace. The third is D6, Drug and Alcohol Testing of Transportation Employees. And the fourth is F5, Student Drugs and Alcohol. A motion would be in order to approve the policies as presented. So moved. Motion by Eric, second. All second. Second by Lance. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Is there any old business to come before the board? I have a question. Okay. Um, last time we had a, uh, we started a, uh, or appointed people to be on the uh, building committee? Yes. Can you name who those people are again, please? Um, I don't have that right in front of me, no, because okay. <laughs> I'm at okay. home and I don't have my folder in front of me. All but right. I could email that to you tomorrow. Well, that's fine. I just had a, I just had a thought about that, bit, that committee. I don't know if this is a place to bring it up or not. Um, so I think... Do we do a building committee for the SU also, or is that just for local boards? I think it's just for local boards, is it, okay. Chris? Yes. Okay. Oh, I can check my so notes, but I, I don't remember doing one for SU. Yeah. So that would be for Cory Valley, Mike. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other old business to come before the board? How about new business? Any new business? Trying to stretch here till Lewis shows up. <laughs> I'm gonna give Lewis a quick call, see how far away he is. Okay. He's just walking in the door. He'll be here shortly. Great. Um, while we're waiting, I think last time I was put on the review curriculum committee, and I haven't heard anything about that yet. It was I'm just hoping I didn't miss an email. <laughs> Not yet, Tim. Yeah. So.
Lewis, good to see you. How was the ball game? All right, it rained and they lost, so. <laughs> but it was funny you got to go, so that's the positive part. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, you are up, my friend. All the stuff I have to report on is an executive session. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Uh, if there's nothing else to come before the board, then a motion to move into executive session at 623 would be in order. So moved. So moved. Okay. I will second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. We will dismiss everyone. So we came out of executive session at 8.51 by consensus. There is no action. If there's nothing else to come before the board, a motion would be in order to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Motion I'll by Mike. Second. Yeah. second. Second by Lynette, and I will take your vote by signing off. Thank you all very much. Have a thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. Good night. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Great discussion. Good night.